Yo, 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 what is up, you guys? It is I, Meowmer, and I'm going to be talking to you guys about a sensitive subject. Alright, so as a lot of people know, Autism Awareness Month is in April. Well, I actually have autism too. I have Asperger's Syndrome. Um, not many people really keep in account that autism doesn't show in looks or voice. It can actually show through other things. I'm sorry, you guys. I, I'm a little sick. And also, the reason why I haven't been uploading is because um, I've just been dealing with some stuff IRL. But past all of that, so a lot of people have been making jokes about autism. Now, I know a few people are going to be like, oh, yeah, where are they doing that at? I'll show them a lesson. Well, it's not just online. It's in real life, too. People don't know where to stop the jokes. Autism is a serious thing. I have Asperger's, which is a type of autism. And what it does is it makes me either average intelligence or above average. But it makes it harder for me to socialize. Which is why I don't really keep long friendships as long as I usually do. Um... The reason why I've been able to keep friends now is because I'm learning how to communicate and socialize. But, um, so let's, let's, let's uh, talk about autism for a moment. Autism is something that a lot of people have, even though people don't really think so. A lot of people do have autism. Um, if I remember correctly, there are a few celebrities with it, too. But, um, what is autism, though? Autism is a thing that is a mental disorder. It can, it has its own little spectrum of how it can be towards other people. Now, some people think that autism is where you're retarded. And yes, I know that's a bad word, but it's true. People think that that's what makes you retarded. Autism isn't just that. <laughs> autism has different layers of it. Um... I can't remember the spectrum, uh, so I'm going to go look that up real quick, um, which won't take me too long. But with autism, there's a lot of scales with it. I'm on the higher up scale because I have Asperger's. Thank God for me, but still. Alright, so here's the spectrum of it. So we have the high functioning sign of autism, which is Asperger's or PDD. Or we have the classic autism, which is with the severe learning disabilities. But with severe learning disabil disabilities, they may not act like they're the smartest. However, without other people, they can survive slightly. I know people are going to be like, no, that's not true. But there are a few um, autistic people at my school that are considered special. And they don't deserve that because they act just like normal kids too. However, they have speaking, like speech impediments or something like that where they can't speak well or finish sentences. However, give them something to do and they can do it pretty well. But like, it's pretty saddening what people think of autism nowadays. Um, like, for instance, if you go to autism.org.uk, uh, there will be a little caption and everything down below. Um, you'll see that they talk about autism. They have a lot of, they have a lot of stuff going on. My bad. Um, and they talk a lot about how it is. And so what people can learn about it from this site is, like, what is autism? The diagnosis is, or however you say it. Benefits in care, behavior, and yada, yada, yada. But let's take a bigger look into what is autism. Autism is a lifelong developmental disability that affects how a person communicates with and relates to other people. Which I definitely have a problem with sometimes. But there are so many different kinds and you can scroll through them. And it's hard for people to understand that. But there's more to it. Some people were like, some people have been to me, like, oh, it's your fault that you have autism. <laughs> that sounds really 
really dumb coming from their side because that's completely not true. We don't get to choose. You guys may think we do, but we don't. Now, there are some conditions that a lot of people with autism can get. They can have ADHD or ADD because they seem to go together for some reason. Um, some kids have hearing impairments or downs, some with dyslexia or dyspraxia or epilepsy. And it's pretty hard on them. And it's just difficult. People think, oh, you know what, it's probably easier on them because they don't have to go to class. I mean, I've known a few people that have actually said that, and it's completely wrong. Because it's still hard on people with autism, and I should know since I have it. And people don't believe me, but that's because they don't understand. And there are also different behaviors with autism too, like some kids act violent with it. Some people, uh, well, it's not just kids, it's adults too. So I'm just going to say some people act violent with it. Some people act peaceful with it. Some people act strange with it. And some people act OCD with it. And it's hard. But um, some people learn to take a step forward and grow out of that phase. Um, another thing that happens with autism is that we, we autistic people... I know that you, none of you guys are going to believe me that I have it, but still, we autistic people have very sensitive stuff. We can have sensitive hearing, sensitive taste, sensitive smell, sensitive sight. I have sensitive hearing. I don't like loud noises that much. Like, if you ever see me doing a fire alarm, I freak out about it because it's hard. I don't like it. it has, it's at that one little noise like section where I can't stand it which is why I sometimes yell at my dog whenever he barks because his bark is really loud and it's really high pitched so it hurts um now with others some autistic kids um they're just like antisocial so that's their weak spot we all have weak spots us as human beings um but people choose to pick out the weakest link which isn't right at all because why would you do that I mean it's not like we really have much of a choice but I mean they're just gonna be like that now autism it's, it's a big deal I've heard people say dude this causes autism like over a video and also they're make people are starting to make fun of cancer by saying oh yeah this is cancer or this is this can cause cancer that's not that's not a good thing to joke about you guys because what if someone in your family has cancer or what if someone in your family has autism because then what are you gonna do you gonna make fun of them still now I know a lot of people are gonna be like oh they're just trying to play around well that's not the way to play around if you guys want to make a joke make a joke but don't make fun of disabilities of other people because people can get offended by that I get offended by that, and that's saying something because I'm a big guy. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm big. I'm, I may be chubby, but I'm tall too. Um, but what happens is that I hear that, and it hurts my feelings, and I end up going home with a sense of depression over it because you guys just don't care anymore. You guys act like it's not a big deal, but it still is. I mean, when you look at autism, people just see the people that, oh, they're in special classes or something like that, but there's others out there. Um, I've seen so many different people with autism, and they're on the spectrum, of course, and you can tell, especially if you have autism, because you're able to tell out the causes, like, the, not the causes, tell out the cases of it because you've grown up around it slightly maybe not on the same like side as them but you're more than likely gonna connect better with them um but yeah it's like why why make fun of that autism is hard and i know that it sounds like i'm making a joke out of it but 
I'm being serious, you guys. Autism is a big deal. And if you guys see someone making fun of someone with autism or making fun of autism or cancer or something like that, AIDS even, because AIDS isn't, like, supposed it big anymore. However, there's still so many people in the world that have it, so why make fun of them? I mean, it's some people are actually born with it. And, oh, you no, know they don't. Yeah, they do. <laughs> you can seriously look that up. They do. And people with cancer, they can't control that. And their treatments don't usually help anymore. I mean, sure, it calms it down a little bit or it stops it for a while. But it's not going to keep it forever. And I know it's hard to hear the truth, but it's the truth. So, let's move on a little bit. Um, how are people trying to help out with autism? Well, there are donation sites, but those won't do much. I'm, I'm not lying. They say, oh, autism probably has a cure somewhere, but I don't think so, you guys. Autism does, isn't really one of those things that you can cure because it has different layers of it. I mean, sure, you can cure a small little bit of it, like how they say they can cure cancer, but that's only a small amount of cancer. Like, they can cut it out, which is technically curing it, however, at the cost of the person's health, and that can still affect them in the long run. Uh, sorry. Um, and truly, I don't see why p people say, oh, um, what was it? That it's like a disease or they can get infected with it too. Because I've seen little kids say that. Sure, they're young, but they must have heard that from somewhere. And that's really bad. Because... That means that their parents have no clue what they're talking about or anything. And so today, I'm trying to spread this out to everyone. And, <clears throat> and this is going to be a little bit of a video of, you know, autism. And a few of you aren't going to take it seriously. I know a few of you aren't. Uh, you can deny it if you want to. But I know. I know you guys. You guys are human. You guys like to make jokes in like instances of fear or life or death and that's not gonna help you in the long run you guys cuz you never know one of your friends could have it and they're not telling you and then you're not gonna believe them but why would they joke about it now of course there are people that lie about it but there are ways to tell <laughs> you can tell by their social activities you can tell by their actions their thoughts the way they are but don't go with just that learn to talk to them about how exactly they have autism because there are many many ways um like surely i've known so many people with autism since my mom used to work with autistic people and she ended up helping out a lot of them because they have problems in the real world some of them at least and it's hard of course but it doesn't mean that we can't handle ourselves it just means that we have our moments in time where we have to get help so what I'm going to be advising you guys to do is to take on a ribbon that says autism awareness it, it I will give you guys a link of what it looks like so that way you guys can go and buy one or something like that and hopefully one of you out there will spread the word that autism isn't a joke. Autism is a thing that happens to people. And it's not just a small amount of people. It's one in a hundred or one in 68 now. Like a few people have been changing the numbers. But it's not a laughing matter. <laughs> people are actually making fun of Down syndrome now and everything like that. That's not a good thing. We need more support. And I know that sounds slightly selfish on my side, but it's true. Autism people, like autistic people, they need help sometimes. So, yeah. Anyways, that should be the rest of this video. Um, you guys can keep on watching or you guys can leave and share the link and everything like that. But, uh, yeah, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me, tell me a story about one of your friends that have autism or something like that. So that way, we can spread the word a little bit more. If you want, you guys can share this video too. Anyways, see you guys later. 
and enjoy the video.